Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back to my playthrough of Empires of the North, the new game in the world of Imperial Settlers. Okay, so we had the first round, three rounds to go, and uh, honestly I'm not sure if I'm doing so well. I only got one card left in my hand, I only get one point, I need 40 to beat this game, and I have two drunken guys here. Um, only three of them, three workers are uh, ready. So in my first phase here, which is the lookout phase, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, 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 let's see what we can get. So we draw four cards, that's the lookout phase, and we get to pick as many as we want, but for each one we need to spend a worker. And I only got three, so I cannot take them all. So. I'm not sure if I want to do this, although this gives me points, but I need to spend workers and ah, I need more workers. All right, an instant. If we harvest, we get to play this for free, gain one resource from two different fields. Hmm, not too bad, not too bad. That might be an interesting one to keep. All right, spend one sheep to gain one point. So I might focus on the sheep farming here to get me some points or assign one, so get one drunken guy in the friendly giant here and spend a fish to gain two points and an axe. Oh boy. So let's first see what we have here in the pillage, well, in the islands here. This gives us a building bonus to gain gold. Is there something that gives us points? Spend one stone to unexhaust one. Oh, that might be interesting. But then I need to conquer it. Okay, okay, okay. So I need an axe, but I do have an axe. So that's interesting. So we might go for the Merbruda Triangle, which if we have this, we can spend the action and the stone to unexhaust one of the action spots in our empire, which might be interesting to release some workers. Yeah, that might be some interesting to do so I think I'm going to do that yeah so um, that gives us a little bit more freedom here um, this gives us more access but oh man spin fish I think I'm going to go for some yeah but can I I can release some workers. Uh, I'm going to gamble. I'm not sure. I haven't thought about it, but I'm going to take these three cards. So that means that I'm going to discard the friendly giant and I'm going to use all my three workers. I'm going to spend them all. There we go. To get these cards into my hand together with the one I already had. Okay. So that means how? Oh, we, but we can still do quite a lot of things, right? Um, but I need sheep. So I'm definitely going to harvest this round so I can also get this one here. Uh, maybe I can get a, a sh one more sheep. Although harvesting, I think I will harvest some sheep for sure. So let's start by doing that. So I'm going to send my worker the harvest action. And then I gain resources from one of my fields, which I am going to use I'm going to take my sheep and I've got this addition on my uh, field here. So I get three sheep. That's pretty good, folks. That's a good start, I believe. So we got a lot of sheep, which can will help us to use these cards that I have to pay sheep for. Also, I get to uh, play this for free because this is a harvest to play card, which means this is a boost card. So this will be played and goes to my discard pile. The festival preparations gain one resource from two different fields. So I could get another sh sheep, but I might need some wood as well. Uh, so I definitely going to take one wood and more sheep, or do I get another fish? So I can at least in the future, maybe use this one here, spend some fish or, or yeah, do I need fish or do I need more sheep for the future? Uh, for now, I don't think I'm going to need that much fish. 
Mm. No, I don't need that much fish at this moment. So I think I'm going to take another sheep. Yeah, why not? Go for the sheep. All right, so that's that. Our free card has been used and we have three cards left. We have one worker left and so on. So one problem is the construct action costs one stone now because I used it last time. I ended my one of my workers ended on that spot, so I had to turn it around, which made it become more expensive. So let's start with using some stuff here. So first of all, I'm going to spend one of those sheep to activate the market. So this gives me one gold and release one worker so that's what i need folks i need oh and i can i'll, I'll do this like this so i spent one sheep get one more gold which is wild and one worker come can come back from one of these cards here so let's uh let's do that there we go one guy has come back or a girl because that's pretty cool i haven't showed that yet uh so we have male and female meeples here pretty cool i i like that so okay that's action number uno now i all want all these cards now i have a big big problem because i need more oh i forgot one thing oh sh dang it i had to take an event sorry folks so i need to do an event after the lookout phase so uh, let's see if this has any effect on anything that happened so i drew number one and then we go and check the scenario and number one says gain two ah that's the one i didn't need gain two access so yeah okay so the king supports more access okay 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 so we wanted to go sailing right but i also want new hmm i want more places where i can Mm. <sighs> oh man, how was that even possible? Each time you explore, okay, so each time I explore, I can spend an X to get another building site. So, will we explore this round? I also, so I want to populate, I want to explore, I want to construct. I do have one wood and I do still have some stuff here going on here. So, all right. So I do want to build this. And where did I, oh yeah, I needed a stone for the building I was going to, but I get a building bonus for that, but only next round. But I do have some gold left, right? So, oh man, how will we do this? Um, if we, Explore, we draw a card, we can use an apple to go to populate, and we can use an apple to go to construct. Hmm, not the worst choices, I think. So let's do that. Uh yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to populate, which is a very simple action. It means you get a new worker. This guy Oh man, uh, this will be the talk of the town. This will be on on Board Game Geek with a lot of questions. What the hell is this? I am not going to tell you, folks. But this is a new worker. This is my ninja worker. And uh, yeah, so that's populate. Oh, perfect. So I got a work, an extra worker, which is pretty cool. So then after that action, I am going to... Why did I want to explore again? I don't know, remember. Why did I want to explore? I forgot. I really forgot why I wanted to explore this round. Why did I want to explore? Oh yeah, for, oh yeah, I remember now. So let's explore. Uh, so I'm going to Pay an apple, which allows me to move my worker to an adjacent worker spot here. I'm going to explore. Uh, let's see how expensive it will become. Oh, it will become apple expensive, which I don't like. But anyway, it lets me draw a card. There we go. 
oh wow this is very cool and and i hope i am doing this right but you do this in this order so first you do the action i draw this and then i can spend do the extra stuff so i get to play this card for free to build this for free because it says explore to build and i just did so i'm going to build this one and i hope this is correct but this is the 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 order in which you do the actions so i do that if you build a field you immediately get the resources it provides after that you will have to harvest and i also spent one axe to get me another building site there we go perfect okay so that's another action next one and this might be a long video so i'm going to only do one round i guess <laughs> i wanted to do two uh but let's see um we are going we have some two workers left right so and i got two action spots left i'm going to keep this one for now for what it is and i am going to oh do i want to con construct makes everything more expensive but I wanted this one, right? I'm going to build this one with just by paying a wood. So I'm building the Asmunds in, and I'm also going to build Bjarne's Tavern. And this costs two wood. I could spend two gold, but that gold is worth point for uh, each gold. So I'm going to spend an apple and move this guy to construct, which allows me to build a cart for free or a location for free there we go so i got a bunch of actions left now uh, i got a lot of action cards here we shall have to use smart so i'm going to let's see uh, this has to assign this can release one so i'm going to spend one worker two and one sheep there he goes uh two sail also, additionally, I get to release one worker. So I'm going to release this guy here and I'm going to sail. And now again, I have to choose if I'm going to sail to distant islands or uh, uh, nearby islands. For distant islands, I have to pay uh, fish. I'm not going to, I'm going to spend an ax though. I'm going to give them an ax so they can go and conquer instead of pillaging. All right, awesome. Sell thing is that only happens at the end of the round so i'm not getting that bonus yet all right what else can we do we have one two workers left which is pretty cool this gives me apples uh for each of these monolith cards so that would give me two apples but i have to assign a worker i'm not sure if i want to uh let's see i'm going to of course spend a worker and a sheep to get two points. That's something I really need. So spend a worker and a sheep to get two points. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Next, next, next step is, well, we have more sheep. So let's spend one sheep to get a point. We need those points. We got four. I got one worker left. I could gain apples for that one, but I think I'm going to assign. Yeah, I'm going to assign one worker, the ninja in this case, uh, to go to the after party to unexhaust any building in my empire. Oh, and then I, I'm a worker short to do the one point for the Bjarne's Tavern. Oh, that's sad. Oh, man. But I could uh, do this to gain gold. Huh, do I go for the point? But I spent. I think I'm going to an exhausted tavern for this time, which allows me to do the action again, spend a sheep to gain a gold and release one worker. So spend the sheep to get a gold, which is also a sheep if I want to be. And release a worker so the ninja is back so i can still use the ninja i could use the brewery to gain more apples or to gain fish if i have buildings with the drink icon but i don't so i could also assign him 
to the outpost headquarter to explore. Give me a free card. And at the end of the game, each worker in the outpost headquarters is worth one point. So yeah, that might be an interesting thing to do as well. So I think, I think I will. I, I, I do want to use all my workers, right? So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to assign that worker and it will be out of the picture now. So let's do it like this. I'm going to put him right over here to explore. Let me draw another card, which is a harvest to play boost card, a drinking competition. Instantly move your clan action pound to any action tile. Additionally, release up to three. Wow. So it doesn't make, give you an extra action. So it allows you to move your worker pound. If it's like this, it allows you to move it to any space. And then if you give him a new order, it can go to an adjacent space. It doesn't activate where you move him to. But very cool. I like this uh, free to play if I harvest. And let me release up to three workers so I can go and assign those drunken guys next round that's awesome all right i think i've done with actions uh actions are done for round two now we are going sailing we have one ship with an axe and this was the plan we were going to conquer the bermuda triangle which gives me this card comes into my tableau which is pretty neat and gives me a building bonus of an apple and a stone so I can use that stone next round to activate it and to unexhaust a card in my empire which that was a plan that was what I was going for all right so perfect also islands in this scenario at the end of the game are worth two points instead of one point normally they're worth one point but there's it is card is worth two then we go our well take our ship back this axe has been spent. All these cards get discarded. We get four new ones. There we go. And in a solo game, we look at this board here. Wherever there is a worker, if it's still on the white side, it gets turned over. Uh, okay, it's not too bad. It gets it's now costs an apple. All the ones that don't have a worker and are on the orange side they go back to their normal side so it's again cheaper to go sailing these workers they come back to our home and the spent workers as well the assigned ninja here in the headquarters he stays there all right okay i'm almost 20 minutes in what do i do i think i think i keep, i'm going to play another round so this ends round two perfect we go to round three let's move up our marker and play another round so we still need 36 points but each card here is worth one point right so one two three four five six and this one is worth two that's seven eight so actually we're at 12 points and some points because of resources as well but that's still not enough so let's see what we can do we go to the new lookout phase and one two three four so oh wow we have a bunch of harvest to play cards so we have another festival rep preparations we have homestead which is uh, a sign one to gain a point and one resource oh this might be interesting but hmm maybe I oh so each action location that i build over is also worth two points instead of one so i might want to sacrifice one of these buildings maybe this one maybe the brewery if i built if i build over that one that might be interesting it's worth it's worth more points and then i get that cool action uh, assign one and i have that very cool card here that brings back some assigned workers so oh that is interesting uh sale to build so i can build this for free it's something that gives me access i'm not sure if i'm going to do that uh, so i'm not going to get that one and then another one of these oh wow it gives me a, that's not too bad right oh uh, so let's see 
but I just had to check if I could play both of them if I do a harvest action, but you can only play one each time you do this. So I think I'm going to keep one. So I'm going to not keep the other one uh, and also not this one. So I got some more stuff I can, although I'm going to I'm going to sail this round, but I think I'm going to just take two cards. So I have to spend two workers. So we have three workers left. That's cool. And uh, they get added to my hand. This time I'm remembering to do the event first. All right, so let's see. So now these are all good events in this scenario. There are also uh, scenarios where you have, there are bad events and if you cannot do what, pay whatever they ask you to pay, you lose points. So this is a four, which means local help. I get to explore, so draw a card. I wish I could get the outpost support. Ah, I need, all right, so I do get a Northern Festival assigned two workers to gain two points. Oh, oh I forgot also to and exhaust everything here but assign two workers to get two points oh man that's a good combination with uh, the, the one that lets me uh, where is the one release up to three workers but it is expensive to build and two workers is a lot oh man I'm not sure what I want to do here Assign two workers, that's a lot. So I'm going to first try to do stuff um, with the things that I do have here. I'm going to place them a little bit higher here. So I want to have more sheep again. So I want to go harvest again. Harvesting lets me... Oh, now I got two cards that do this, right? Mm. That gives me more resources if I want to, or lets me move my clan action pound to any action tile and release up to three workers. So I don't want to do this now. Uh, so let's start by, ooh, this is a difficult one. Do I want to sail? Let's see what we have here. Uh, I do love to conquer now because it gives me more uh, spent. No, that's not so interesting. Pillage, uh, conquer. Spent one worker to gain a, a food. To just give me a sheep as a building bonus. Sheep land spent to conquer. Yes, I've all uh, spent one to unexhaust. That's always interesting, right? So I might go and conquer that one. That's not too bad. Spent one stone to construct. Hmm, not too shabby either. I think I'm 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 interested in going pillaging there. So. All right, so for sailing, I do have this card here, uh, which needs asks me to spend a worker. Do I want to populate? I think I will. I think I do want to populate. And after that, I could move that clan marker to another spot because I don't want to explore nor sail. I do want to harvest and maybe construct because they are quite expensive, these ones. So uh, that's interesting, but I don't want to do this as a first thing because this releases a worker. So I was first want to assign one. Uh, so where do I have to assign guys to? Oh, not too much. So assign one. Oh, what? Which, which one did I want to build here? Was it the homestead? Assign one worker to gain one point and one resources from two. Yeah, or this one. Oh man, I think I'm going for this one. So let's do build the homestead and I'm going to build that right on top. So I'm going to build it by constructing, which cost me an apple uh, because it cost me a stone this time, so, but I will still do it. So I'm going to spend that stone to use the action to build this for free. And I'm going to build it on top of my brewery. So that brewery is worth two points. That's cool for the end of the game. That's very interesting. Then I'm going to send one worker to go and drink something in the homestead. Gives me one point and one resource from two different fields. Let's take a sheep. We want a sheep and we could get wood or an apple. And I think we will get that wood. We could also get a fish, but I'm I, or, uh, so I'm going to get some wood here. All right, perfect. So now we might want to do that harvest action to get more sheep. 
But now first let's do the sailing. So I'm going to spin the worker. There we go. To do this action, the skinny sport to get the and spend one of my sheep to sail and release one worker. So let's sail, let's get a worker back. And I'm going to send my ship with an axe and the fish to the distant islands. All right, perfect. Next. Okay, so what else do we want to do? Uh, we want to harvest now. No, not yet. Or do we? We might want to do this or this. It's the one or the other this round. All right, I want to spend a stone, a worker here, a sign. How can I? All right, one go. Okay. Do I have enough? workers I might want to populate first with the other action yeah let's populate I'm going to populate so I'm going to add a worker to my supply there we go another worker which is pretty cool and now I get to hmm harvest or sail I can sail do I want to explore hmm, not sure give me a card though uh, let's harvest I can harvest twice this round if I want to but then I have to spend this card here. Then I want to assign more cards. Yeah, that might be a good option. So assign the, to the homestead. There we go. Let's exhaust the cards. I'm sorry about the mess. Assign to gain a point. And the resource. Oh, didn't I always already use that one? I did this but I didn't do this right or did I How didn't I do that already or I just read that one where did I get the two different resources from oh man did I forgot to exhaust this one I think I did so I already used this one right and I took the guy back from this I could assign him to this to unexhaust something. That's also interesting. Gives me more sheep, although I can get more sheep. Arr, this is difficult. I took that one back, so I might not want to do this this round because I don't get to assign that much. I don't really think I needed this one, although only f to move him. Oh man. So let's start by, oh, come on, I need points, right? I need to, I'm going to harvest first. So I'm going to spend an apple and I'm going to harvest, spend that worker and I'm going to get three sheep. I need sheep. There we go. One, two, three. Then I'm going to spend the worker. So that guy is going to be spent and I get and I spin the sheep to get two points. So I'm going to eight. All right, then I'm going to spend. Can I still release? I can still release a guy. So I think I'm going to. Mm, and exhaust that one again, probably. And I could do that again. Yes. All right, let's assign a worker. There we go. To unexhaust a card in my empire. Great. And I'm going to unexhaust Bjarne's Tavern. Yes. Then I'm going to spend with the market. I'm going to spend one sheep to gain one gold and a worker. So spend one sheep to get a gold and release one worker, this guy here. Perfect. Then I'm going to spend one worker to do this again. One worker and a sheep to get two more points. All right. We're having an engine here. We're getting there. And then I could still do this again. Wow, then the only sad thing is I haven't used my Asmund's Inn. Maybe I want to build over that inn for the future, for next round, so I can do this 
to score more po points with this, those workers. And then I can use... Oh, I forgot my, my harvest one. So I did the harvest action. I could play this. So that was the part of, that was part of the plan. So I could get, and I'm sorry for the take backs, but I could skin one sheep and one... Oh, do I want... Yes! I do want one more wood. So that was a free car because I did the harvest action. And now it's very cool, very interesting. So I'm going to... Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to spend the stone, which this time... I'm going to build first. So I'm going to build with two wood. I'm going to build the Northern Festival, which allows me to build it. And I'm going to build it on top of another one. And I'm sorry, my phone is ringing. Uh, I'm going to spend it. Where did I want to build it? Over the Asmund's Inn. I get a building bonus of an axe. There we go. And now I think I'm going to use this action. Spend a stone. I'm going to also use this. Spend a stone, which will be a gold this time. To, again, an exhaust Bjarne's Tavern. Use it again. Spend one worker and one sheep. To get two points and now for the last action I'm going to spend one apple to move this guy to sail and go sailing to a nearby island to go and conquer it with a, with an axe okay I think I'm done with actions okay first after the round is done, we go we go sailing and we do the first ship first. This one brought a fish and an axe, so it could go and conquer a distant island, and it will. It is going to. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, but I'm still going to take this one. So it gives me a building bonus of a sheep and a stone, and it goes into my empire, of which I can exhaust everything at the end of a round as well so let's do that already so I don't forget it and step two the other ship is going to conquer as well but a nearby island I didn't bring any fish and that one is going to conquer this one here to get a sheep and a stone there we go a sheep and a stone that's pretty awesome and that ends this phase of pillaging and conquering. We get four new cards. For next round, we look at the board here. So hard, uh, exploring will get its normal cost again, which is free. Construct as well, but harvesting will cost me a sheep now. And sailing will cost me a fish, which is not too great, but I still have the skinny sport which helps me sailing all right and that ends round three i'm going to end it here round four will be a next video i hope you'll be there as well i'm doing okay i'm not sure if i'm going to make it to 40 points which i need so we will go next time to round four the last round i'm at 12 points i have some bonus points from my buildings that's for sure so that's cool and I do have one <laughs> guy that gives me some points. I do have buildings underneath other buildings, which are also worth more points. So it might work. It might work out. We'll see next time. I hope you will be there. Thank you for watching this episode or this part of the playthrough. And I see you all next time with more Empires of the North. Thank you and bye bye.